over 70% of the base taken down by that opener with the loons for support on cleanup. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite some time. I know I took a lot of time away from YouTube just while I was out of the country spending time uh, with my boyfriend and just really getting through some of the end of ESL Mobile Open that I was doing in between working full time. Now I'm gonna try and get back to a little bit more of a normal YouTube schedule, of course, bringing you some of the incredible wars that I cover live. So this way you can see these amazing attacks, which today you're definitely gonna get to see in Space Station Gaming facing off against Queen Walkers. We're talking absolutely intense war and not only focusing on the space station performance, but Klaus and Queen Walkers in particular, who had a, <laughs> let's just say, incredible, unconventional, crazy, like usual, attack. So that's what you can expect to see from Klaus in this one. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update as well. So I am going to be trying to go back to regularly updated videos. So before we get into this, just so you know, and I'm also going to be doing some giveaways. You know that Supercell just announced, uh, you know that Supercell just celebrated their ninth birthday for Clash of Clans, and I've got some giveaways to do with this. So I'm gonna be doing a special box giveaway, and if you wanna find out how to get involved with this and get a chance to win, just stay tuned and you'll find out somewhere in this video. But without further ado, let's take a look at this incredible matchup of Space Station Gaming against Queen Walkers in the Itsu Cup. So we have Gaku kicking it off. I didn't change the logo. You are absolutely correct. Queen Walkers. There we go. Thank you. Felt like I was missing something. There we go. So Gaku. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hedden fires a blazing with the Inferno Drag Rider. Straight through with the blimp for the town hall. A pretty nice spread on this. Not too wide, sections it off perfectly, and the king and queen uh, to work their way through into that eagle compartment, forcing the Inferno drags and the drag riders into the center of the base. Past the town hall, past that eagle, ideally, if the king can hurry up. He's already burned through the king ability. Needs that queen to step up into place. The yak's actually going to help pick it off, and he does manage to keep these drags and inferno drags in the center of the space. Drops down one of two remaining skelly spells to try and hold off the scatter shot, but does manage to freeze it up here as well, trying to limit as much splash damage as possible. And again, another freeze. Perfectly placed, holding off the scatter and the wizard tower, just keeping that splash damage at bay. Royal champ sneaking across to take on the remainder of these defenses. And Gaku starting in on fire with the three star. Look at what he's got left over. Queen ability intact. King still alive with the yak. Warden up. Royal champ is alive. And he's still got Inferno drags on the board and drag riders to boot. Absolutely overpowered coming in from Gaku. They just came off a perfect war in their matchup against Repotted Gaming and equally Space Station Gaming came off a perfect war. So we're expecting to see some big, big action. And I see there is a switch up because we do have Crazy Ryan filling in for Goreticus this round. <laughs> Your feelings for Lex, let's keep it low key. Okay, I won't tell anyone, Daniel. I won't tell anyone. So Crazy Ryan, is he going to do something crazy? We've got Queen Charge, Lalo. He did bring one hog. Is he going to look to pull the CC that way? What are we doing with that one hog? Are we going to take an outlying AD down with it? Easy pick off for the Queen here to get to the Town Hall. It's a nice path to force her in. Four Super Wall Breakers. Holy jeez, he's got to be using one for the King as well. Oh, so yes, yeah. indeed, the hog used to help lure that clan castle. Let's try this comment again. Low, long time no see. <laughs> you at Lady B and at Waz Maniac. <coughs> Hi, Tyler. I'm good. How are you? Thank you so much for the resub. Twenty-seven months. Thank you, thank you, Tyler. How have you been? Maybe one day we can get back together for uh, pizza and whiskey down in the city. We'll see. 
when it's safer. Oh, wait. No, the queen has a passage in. But look at it. Four super wall breakers. Are we going to charge this entire base? We're already at a minute 46. This is going to be a very lengthy queen charge. King still needs to help push her along. That king can work into the uh, scattershot compartment with that area situated. Curious if he's going to knock that king right inside. And then keep pushing the queen along into the multi compartments. Come on. Let's get that queen going. This is very nice. Royal champion supporting the king along the outskirts can pick up the additional multi on the 1030 side of the base. He's already used the invisibility spell. He just needs to try and hang on to this ability as long as possible because we do have the um, battle builder huts to worry about and he wants that multi ideally to go down. Come on, royal champ. Get the job done. Gets the shot off. She should have just enough, especially as the king starts taking on that damage from the eagle. Queen in a perfect position. Holy gee, straight through to the back end of this base for the scatter shot. Stone Slammer making the approach in line for the multi that the queen did not take down because of the pathing that he's provided for it. I mean, these loons are going to get to the scatter shot before the queen has an opportunity to, which I guess is a little bit unfortunate, but they have so much power left over. Even the royal champ coming in with the assist for this one. Man, this is living up to the crazy Ryan name. 17 seconds on the clock. And with what he spread out for those minions and the loons converging together, he's got time to spare. And also notice he, he held on to that one loon just in case for safe measure. Absolutely beautiful start here as well for Space Station Gaming. Crazy Ryan coming in, filling in for Goreticus this go around and just keeping that three star dream going. They're, they're in progress of working on it. I guess a tree fell on the lines. So Katsumi coming in, one of the new players to join the official Queen Walkers team. No, they're not getting rid of anybody, but they did mention that they were going to have these players coming in uh, for this, I guess this weekend, joining for Urat to help out. And kicking this off with the Blizzard Lalo. Beautiful. Um, push in with that blizzard. We do take down this most of the CC troops. Just a couple of pups to pick off. We'll still have the enemy heroes to worry about. Uh, but with the position of the king and queen coming in, he could easily pick that off here as well. Ooh, king just cutting back in for that multi-compartment. And ideally what you want to see is the queen moving forward. Um, into the town hall, but we need to get that defending AQ down so we can use the headhunters uh, solely for the defending RC. Do the king. Can he get down this multi? Get down the defending AQ? Yes, he can. This is looking solid for the opener here. Very, very nice approach. And we can see how narrowed out the path is for this Lalo coming in from the 9 o'clock side of the base. And is yet to drop the Royal Champ as well. He could position her to come in for that Eagle compartment and help work along. Coming in right from that bottom side, picking off the AD and going straight for the Eagle. But she does have some Teslas to worry about here as well. But that's all you really need her to work for. These loons need to stay converged together. Did the headhunters get in quick enough to take down the royal champion? Yes, they did, along with the poison spell. Tornado trap holding off the loons, but they come back around, and Ahasa is going to quickly sweep them into that multi with the royal champ still alive, picking off the wizard tower, trying to take down some of the last remaining splash damage. She lends a huge hand to this one, and is going to help seal the deal for another three-star incoming for Queen Walkers. Great start of the war. Two for two with these new players added in from the Hager Metal family. 40 seconds left, though. Do we have enough spread out on the minions for cleanup with all of these storages? They are going down fast, so I'm going to say yes with the Royal Champ. Looking to work on the only one that had no damage on it. It will be enough time for the three-star. GG to Katsumi. 
keeping Queen Walkers on the up and up for this matchup. Space Station Gaming needs to continue to go solid with this pressure being built against them. Okay, now Agent 33 rocking up with more Inferno Drag Rider action. Now we do have the E-Drag to help with the funnel. A good position for it, obviously. <laughs> that chain value was kind of nice. That's going to give the Loons a little bit more opportunity to quickly knock down those initial defenses, clearing out the path for these Drag Riders and Inferno Drags, protecting them definitely from the majority of the um, traps that could be placed along the way, as you can see, clearly see. Now with the Warden ability used early, that gives the Loons even more value to push in deeper and pick up more traps also helping to take on some of the defenses first and foremost this is looking like an amazing push so far just keeps it navigating into the center of the base with that king and queen working along to pick off the eagle it's looking very similar to one of the other bases that we saw taken down like this and you can see how valuable that pathing path is in these open compartments, open airy compartments that the king and queen can get big value for the navigation of your dragons in general. Easy push to go for the town hall and all you need now is that royal champion helping with the defenses on the back end. Biggest problem is the king and royal champion threat. So saves these skelly spells here to help distract, giving the opportunity for everything to come through and knock down the defending hero heroes and the freezes just to hold off those defenses long enough to give the Royal Champion a fighting chance. With the ability intact, we won't even need to necessarily use this freeze, can swag it all day long. Agent 33 showing how well versed he is in this particular approach with, uh, he's got an entire minute to spare on this attack. This is why we were seeing Space Station Gaming absolutely on fire, just taking full advantage of this new meta. Okay, so Oxy Ride for Queen Walkers here with the Super P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Wait, is this, is this Stadra? Is this Stadra's ult? I know they're running some alt accounts, but I don't know if this is a, uh, if this is Stadra. No? Okay. I only ask because he's coming in with the Super P.E.K.K.A. Smash, which is the Stadra move. Okay. So Warden leading the path here. We want to take down that scatter shot. Um, why? Because it would be absolutely flanking the troops coming in from the Eagle compartment. Or we coming? We're not coming in straight from the town hall. We've got to be with the log launcher. We have to be wrapping around this base. What are you getting distracted by, Warden? Holy jeez! Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried about this Warden. <laughs> Can we actually get him path back through? We're gonna have to drop something close enough. I think a tiles into that range to get him pulled back through. Being very, very, very patient though. We do have the wall break connecting to allow the king access into that multi compartment and funneled up to ensure that he works his way in. Here we go. Nice push coming along. King needs to work along that side. And again, we will have the log launcher to cut through, open up those walls, and likely provide. Uh, we'll see if he's going to bring the Yetis or the Ice Golems. I think Ice Golems would be a nice shout here because not only of the dead zone in here where we could see some Teslas, but because of the scatter shot and the single along the back end. King in a good spot here. Keeping the path and going. And look at how easily this opens up those compartments. It does it step by step, keeping everything in line together that's a nice thing about bringing in this log launcher yes a little bit risky at times but it opens up a huge path and gives you more spell options to power along 
Oh, we got the Yetis coming out. The Pekkas take the lead. So this works out perfectly to take down the Town Hall. Yetis will help clear out some of the defenses, but we need to get into that Scattershot compartment. So it's out to the Royal Champ. The King has had a lot of value by powering his way through, opening up that wall, and the Yak doing the majority of the tanking there with the Queen's ability still intact. She's able to keep some of the focus off of, that scat off of the Royal Champion from the Scattershot along with those Skelly spells. So this is to help with the entire back end component. Royal Champ has just enough juice to take down the remaining defenses. And Oxyride coming through with yet another three-star to put on the board here and more swag. Holy jeez. This is an incredible matchup. No one letting up yet. But Space Station Gaming still needs to get a three-star on the board to keep tied up. Are you enjoying the break and the weather? Some rain to help cool it off for the next week? I love Wasman's new emotes. Karina did such a nice job with those. So Marinol coming through. We got the Zap Quake Super Witch. Holy spam, Batman. Wasman, get out those emotes. They're here for the right occasion. So we help to navigate the pathing. Now we've got this entire outlying town hall compartment that could be an easy pickoff. I'm curious to see how he's going to shape up the path because ideally I would think we want to rock the witches up along the top side of the base leading up towards the one o'clock coming in with an entry there. But no, we go, we're going along the outskirts of the town hall. We're going to wrap along the entire outside of the base and then work through inside. Oh my goodness. He's going to try and avoid having to go through the poison bomb. We've got four super wall breakers. Once they work along this outside edge, push their way back in uh, from the eight o'clock compartment straight into the center of the base. Even can get the king in to keep things pushing along nicely. Okay, stay on the outside edge of that poison bomb. They're right there moving in line. Come on, stay out of there. Keep this going strong. The poor healers. A little bit worried for this. Oh my goodness, Warden is in there. The healers go right in. That's not ideal. That's why I would not have wanted to put that along that side. No healers left over to keep these super witches alive. But he did take down both scatter shots. He's got to get through into this eagle compartment. Queen is suffering though as the eagle fires away. Oh, hanging on to the ability. This invisibility at least helps quite a bit to spare the queen's invisibility spell. The royal champ has a lot of work cut out for her coming in from that 12 o'clock compartment because we still need to get through. Take down so many remaining defenses and that eagle is still standing, being defended by that royal champion. Marinol is going to be the first one to give on this. 32 seconds left. He's got a dream with the Royal Champion trying to keep as much as he can together. He is not going to be the one to give this up, is he? Is there gonna be enough time? Wizards on the outside for the storages. This helps out and that Valk is gonna help out even more. <gasps> By the skin of his teeth, Marinol comes in despite losing those healers and keeps the dream alive. Triple on the board. Three for three on both sides here. And I was wrong. No one letting up. Both of these teams picking up perfect wars in their pre previous matches. And looking to do the same this time around. But surely someone, surely someone will crack. And Star's coming in. Uh, with, really? Bat Lalo. Have I, I, oh, sneaky gob, town hall take down Bat Lalo. Oh my goodness. Stars, let's go. Drops an invisibility spell to get these sneaky goblins in. Uh, didn't work out. Shoot. Jump bomb. Wrecked that plan. And the headhunters too. Timing was unfortunate. He's got one more sneaky goblin. But that's not going to be enough. So he's going to have to just get those heroes in. Yikes. A 
Okay, let's see if he's gonna use the king to work this along. Queen's in a position to continue her way down and around. We've got two super wall breakers, but this means just really having to switch up the value here. Yeah, rut row. Oh, he is gonna wall break this queen in. Drops in the ice golem. And I, I've gotta be, I, I, I gotta be honest. I, I would imagine he would have this kind of lined up as a backup plan if he doesn't get the town hall taken down, knowing that there was a possibility you know, the sneaky goblins could hit a giant bomb. Unforeseeable. Ooh, tornado trap makes a queen force through her ability quickly. It's enough to take down the town hall. Can she clear out a couple more defenses here? Nope, not enough. Unfortunately, another giant bomb knocks her right out. So the king and royal champ work together. We want to clear out the pathing here for the multi-section. We want most importantly, the scatter shot to go down here as well inside the base. So Stone Slammer to come in to compensate. Does that mean we're going to see the Lalo coming from the north? Yes, indeed. Royal Champ struggling here, so not enough for that. But he does have the bats. He could potentially bat bomb inside the space for the scatter shot. Let's see where the Stone Slammer goes as well, because it is providing a lot of tank so far. Headhunters in that warden ability to keep them through, taking down... The defending AQ gets a nice push of the loons through that haste into the multi. And look at this. That hound tanked for days with the pups to keep that scatter shot off. But he's lost every bit of loons he had. And no freezes for the wizard tower. Oh, no. This is one of the very few times that you could see stars not picking up the three star with a Lalo, one of his most well-known attacks. And there's not gonna be enough time nor power to get the job done here. Agent 33 with a Mahusive defense in the bag, 86% two-star holding off Queen Walkers finally after three solid three stars coming in but can Space Station Gaming get another three star on the board and try and buy them this one star uh, lead coming through? Show us exactly what happened. I'll show Yeah, at the end. We'll take a look at the Sneaky Goblins again. Did you miss the Sneaky Goblin part? So Zapkoi coming in. Nick going back to Zlala Roots. Nice split up here. Look at this. Royal Champ cutting along. We want to see that multi-targeting Inferno go down. Queen on the path for the Town Hall with two Ice Golems. She needs to clear out a huge chunk of this compartment. We want to see the entire thing going down, including the defending AQ, ideally. Ideally. We still have the headhunters to help with that, though. Royal Champ getting just about as much value, I guess, as you can hope for clearing out that path. But we don't get the multi-targeting Inferno down, which I guess is fine. We can oh, still start or yeah. finish that off on the back end, hold it off with a freeze. Lady Bluff, Lady Bluff. Maverick coming in with a resub. Thank you. Thank you, Maverick. Great to have you here. Can we get a shout out for Maverick, please? If you guys aren't following, she is... Not only an amazing, amazing streamer, but she is like one of the most energetic females and streamers out there uh, in general right now. She's doing superb work. So we do come in from the north side, taking down that multi quick, which I think is a good approach here. We need those headhunters to quickly get in. They're dropped. Come on. But they didn't get in the warden's tome. He popped that early. Freezes up the queen over the scatter, which is a good spot to be in. Another freeze invested for it. And the queen goes down. Gets everything what he needs. But I, I kind of think that it was a loon drop that got that taken down. Great timing. Patiently waiting for that position here, which gives Nick everything he needed to get the job done here. Another three star now for Space Station Gaming. Puts them with the one star lead. I want to look at this one again and see who... Yeah, Queen was right on top of the defense, so the timing was perfect for the loon drop there. 
Um, those, unfortunately, those headhunters didn't get in through the warden ability timing, so it was a struggle for them to get that taken down. So Klaus should send, yeah, he probably, he should have sent another one, less risk. It would have been worth the time investment on it. Just a fraction of a second. So Klaus coming in with a final attack. He needs to pull in a three star and hope to see a defense against Lex to try and keep Queen Walkers in this one. But it would need to be an 85% two star coming in from Space Station Gaming. And Klaus coming in with ground. I don't know how often I get to see Klaus coming in. Whoa, 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 wait, what, wait, wait, what, what, wait, what, what, wait, what? Ground air, what? What the heck is he coming in with? What is this? <laughs> is this an entire kill squad of super wizards and party wizards? <laughs> oh my goodness. And a blizzard? No, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. Are we going to blizz this too? What the heck is this? And then he's going to back end Lalo? No, wait, we got sneaky goblins in there? They are getting the town hall down. What are we going to use all these invisibility spells for? We got four invisibility spells. What the heck? He's taken down 50% of the base. More than 50% of the base with these heroes and super wizards and the sneaky goblin. Uh, Blimp. Oh my goodness. He's not even dropped the Lalo yet. This is disgusting. Klaus, you are disgusting, sir. How do you violate people like this and stay out of prison? It's not right. Oh my goodness. Over 70% of the base taken down by that opener with the loons for support on cleanup. This is just stupid. Klaus coming in showing why he is the biggest clickbait attacker <laughs> in the world. Guess what's going on my YouTube right now? Klaus did what? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Absolutely destroyed. So doing 60 with heroes is a must do. That was like 70. Come on. That was 70% of the base taken down with his heroes and the super wizards. So what do you guys think? Can Lex finish this one up? Do you think he's going to get the win for this? That was a massive kill squad. I am I am thoroughly impressed. So Lex oh, knows. Yeah. Ari getting that gifted set from ODS. Thank you so much, ODS. Lots of lots of hugs. Thank you, thank you. So here are simultaneously to push through for this town hall. We'll have the king taking on the town hall compartment as the queen pats her way into the scatter shot here. Ooh, nice wall break connection. Easy clean path. Uh, no jump to connect this any further. But I like the patience here. Just clearing out these compartments. Queen in a really good spot as well. Um, taking down the CC troops with limited damage coming in on her. And this also helped to clear a lot of path for the king to get that straight focus into the town hall compartment. Will it be enough to actually take down the single targeting Inferno? That's ideally what we want to see. Freezes it up. That is going to help hold it off and give the king maybe just enough juice to get that done. With the ability just being forced, the eagle, though, really is relentless. And that's going to be the biggest factor in trying to get this done. Drops the invisibility spell. It's just enough to get the town hall down, but not going to be enough to get the single targeting Inferno down. Um, and that could be a struggle on the back end. The queen does manage to survive. But, and she has her ability, so she could come back around and take that down easily with the loons clearing out the rest of the pathing. That's providing she doesn't force her way through into the multi-compartment. But even if she does, she go back on path. It is looking good for Lexnos. And I like that he's brought in the royal champion here to help support. Cutting through the inline edge, going straight for that multi. Queen's going to have to burn through the ability. Is it enough to get through, get that single down, help out these drag riders so they don't have to come into contact with it in the end? Has one more rage, but the rage is not going to really do the queen as much good with the 
single targeting on her or is it it is it gives her just enough health back over with those healers to take care of the cleanup my goodness lex is going to get it done and bring home the perfect war against queen walkers space station gaming back to back 15 star wars against tomp and i against queen walkers these guys are on fire and they are going to be going for i'm telling you a title this coming weekend and next weekend if we don't see space station gaming in the qualifiers i am gonna be just so disappointed this is a space station gaming we all know and love that we want to see coming through taking down the likes of two uh world championship qualified teams that's insane if they don't get a golden ticket this year there's something wrong so absolutely insane work coming in from both sides but space station gaming who has been absolutely overperforming and coming in with this perfect war against Queen Walkers, the golden ticket winner for the World Championships. And we know that Space Station Gaming has definitely gotten close to getting it, but not quite enough, not even getting the silver ticket yet. But if they continue going the way they are at this point, I do expect to see them, fingers crossed, hopefully working their way through the pre-qualifiers and making their way into the next round of the World Championships. They've just got to keep this kind of momentum going. Um, but again, I told you about the mystery box giveaway that we're going to do. And the way that you enter is by checking in the description below. That's it. It's that simple. <laughs> Look all the way in the description and it's going to tell you exactly what to do. So that's all. That's all, you know, simple, simple opportunities in order to get a chance to win. But the most important thing is knowing when I'm going to draw a winner. I will draw a, win a winner next week. Next Sunday, we will pick one winner for the super top secret supercell mystery box. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. So, you know, when we're doing other giveaways, when more of these videos pop up. And again, I'm going to keep this a little bit more on a regular basis. Uh, ESL Mobile Open will be starting up, so you might see me limiting a little bit when that goes on because of my full-time work schedule. Um, but I will keep more consistent while I am back home. That's about it for now. Until next time, this is Lady V. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah.